In this tutorial I'll show you how to make things vanish with a glowing edge in After Effects without using any plugins, let's get to it. Here we are in After Effects, I'm going to start by creating a new composition. It will be 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and 5 seconds for the duration, click OK. Then drag the logo to the timeline, I'm using this PNG of a Twitter logo, then press S on the keyboard and adjust the scale if needed. I'll slightly decrease mine to this size. And then we want to pre-compose this logo by right clicking on it and select pre-compose. Name it logo and make sure you check move all attributes then click OK. Now make sure you deselect the logo so it is not highlighted then go up here and select the rectangle tool. Set fill to a solid color, the actual color doesn't matter. And for the stroke set it to none and click OK. And here double click on the rectangle tool and that will create a rectangle that has the same size as the composition that we're in. And we've created this shape layer 1. Now make sure it is selected and press P on the keyboard. And then we want to move it all the way to the right off screen. So I'm going to increase the X value, X for the position. And move it all the way across. And then make sure you are at the start of the timeline and create a keyframe by clicking on a stopwatch for position. Then go to the end of the timeline, right click on the position and select reset. That will put it back where it was. So now we have this simple animation of our rectangle. So let's go to this point where it's halfway animated. And now we need the track mat column. If you don't see this track mat column, click toggle switches on mode until you do. And then set logos track mat from the drop down to the shape layer 1, the one that's above it. And we need to invert the mat. Right now it is the alpha mat. We want the inverted mat. To do that, we check the second box that's to the right. And now you can see that the mat is inverted and we are getting this simple vanish of the logo. Now again, let's go to halfway of its animation. And in effects and presets, open the effects and presets window and search for turbulent displace. Then add it to the shape layer. Then head over to the effect controls panel. And here I'm going to set complexity to 10 to get this distorted edge. And then for the amount, I'll set it to 25. And for the size, I'll set it to 300. I've played around with the settings and I like this setup. You can experiment with different values to get a different kind of look. So now we have this distorted edge as the logo vanishes. And after that, we're going to select both of these layers, right click any of them and pre-compose them. You can call it logo vanish. Click OK. Now select the logo vanish, go up to edit, duplicate or press Ctrl D as the shortcut. And now for the track mat, again, we're going to select the one that's above it, logo vanish. And we need to invert this mat again, so second box, check it. And if we move forward, you, you don't see anything happening. But we want to move this top layer f like a few frames back. So one, two, three. And you can see now we, we're getting this distorted line. But if you look closely, we're getting this outline in the back that we don't need to see. Now we can easily hide it using the minimax effect. So in effects and presets, search for minimax. Add it to the bottom logo vanish layer, in effect controls, set operation to minimum, then channel to alpha, and set a radius to 1. And if the outline is still there, just increase the radius until it's completely gone. For me, it's gone, so we can proceed with the tutorial. So now we have just the line in here, so we are going to drag and select these layers, right click any of them, and pre-compose again. You can call this logo line. And here, I'll go back to the project panel and drag and drop the logo vanish below the logo line. And now we're back to where we were. But now we're going to add glow to the line. So in effects and presets, search for glow. It will be under stylize, add glow to the logo line layer. Then in effect controls, we're going to leave the first glow as it is, select it, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. For the second glow, set radius, or glow radius to 50, then duplicate it again and set radius to 100. And if this amount of glow is not enough for you, you can continue duplicating the glows and increasing the radius. For me, it is fine, so I'm going to leave it at 3 glow effect. And now if we do the preview, we're getting this vanish effect with the distorted glowing line going across. And right now, the glow that we have applied to this line is based on the colors of the logo. If you want to use different colors, you simply search for fill in effect and presets and add it to the logo line after the glow effect. And here you can choose any other uh, color that you want. So let's go for something pinkish, purple, click OK. And now we will have this glow effect. And if the line is too thick, we can always go back to the logo line. When we can bring this layer like one frame forward, it's like that. You can see that makes it uh, thinner. So I'll leave it at like two, two frames. This should be enough. So if we go back to the render composition now, the line that we have should be a bit thinner. And if you want to adjust the, the distortion of the line, we can always go back to the like logo vanish and then select the shape layer one 
and play around with the distortion settings, maybe increase the amount, decrease the size to get a different look. And also for changing the logos, go back to the logo composition, then you know, use any different logo that you want. So let me use the Instagram logo, drag it drop in here, and make sure you adjust the size so it matches the previous logo size. Then hide the previous logo, then go back to the render composition. And here we have a different logo with the same vanish animation applied to it. And that is how you create this vanish effect with a distorted glowing edge or the line in After Effects without any plugins. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.